the agenda is a Lowes County case, and as stated before, the final action on the Lowes County uh, case will be held on February the 11th at the Lowes County Board of Commissioners. Uh, case number REZ 2014-01. Staff, if you would please present this case. <coughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Subject property in this request is southwest of the city of Hayhara, and the applicant is here because the subject property is what we call illegal non-conforming. It's two and a half acres that was created before the applicant purchased it, where it was created by deed, and it doesn't meet our five-acre zoning guidelines. With that, we've uh, spoke with the applicant. Uh, we believe he understands, and he has some good points about rezoning it to what he's requested, which is R1. Uh, staff looked at this case, and honestly, we just, uh, the majority felt like it was more appropriate for RA. So, we bring you that conflict. Um, I know the applicant is here, and I do have a few updates uh, before you have to uh, render a recommendation on this. The first is that the applicant did give us um, a letter of intent last week that was uh, updated from the one that was handed out to you at your work session. I have physical copies of that. I know Katrina emailed it out to you, but I just wanted to, if you did not get a copy, I want to make sure you get one tonight. Okay. Just want to make sure. They help um, really just clarify where where he's coming from. But ultimately, I, I know that um, you had a question Monday night about some of his intentions. I was able to reach him this week, and we did talk. And he his first uh, wishes are to be able to market the property and sell it. And so, if successful, whether with RA or R1 zoning, um, his intentions are to just be able to market and sell the property. Um, with that, I know uh, one thing I did want to clarify with you as far as the TRC recommendation. Uh, it's written up in your packet as approval of RA, and the recommendation from a technical standpoint went three to two in denial of R1. So that was a three two vote to deny R1 with uh, the county engineer and the Board of Health voting against the motion. So there was some dissension on staff, even on this case. And then the alternative was for approval of RA. So that's what's in your packet, but that's more of the background for your reference. You also asked me some questions about some older zoning and the lots um, around this property. And we did do homework on that, and we're able to find answers for all, but I think one question with that. So we have that. I don't know how much you want to dig into it, but we were able to do some homework and find out some answers for some of the other lots in this area. Um, so I take those four updates. Um, Certainly, I can go further on the additional homework, but I'll leave it with that in case you want to. And uh, I'll say that we do believe it's ready for your consideration at either R1 or, or RA zone. Thank you. Are there any questions for the staff? Well, <coughs> Jason, on the uh, lots that you referred to, I assume you across the road. Yes, sir. There's one right down the road and one on the opposite side of Morgan Road. Yes, sir. Are those one acre lots? Um, they're at least. They're close, if not just above one acre. Are they R1? They're not zoned R1, um, and that's the homework we did. Um, I'm sorry the audience can't see it on the screen, but if you look, the ones on the northern side of Morgan Road yeah. were created with family ties in uh, 2008 and 2009. If you go to the eastern side of the road, on the eastern side of Shiloh, the one on the corner was uh, platted in 1999, so I'm assuming it's a lot of record, they just replatted, which is okay. Uh, the one further south was done in 1977. Um, south of that was 1976, and then 1975, the one further south. And then across the street was done in 1977. And the key date here is that the five-acre rule was established in January of 1987. So if it falls before that date, the acreage was not an issue. If it falls after that date, that's where we get into some issues. So overall, all those lots are uh, we believe are legal non-performing, but Mr. Wheeler's lot was done in 1995. So his was after that 1987 date, which is why we're here. Uh, I wish we weren't here. I wish we could find something that Grandfather did. We just we haven't been able to find it. So those others were Grandfather in Yes. Yes. yes, sir. All of them except the ones across the street that were done in family ties in 2008. Okay, thank you. Chairman, question. Right. Mr. Um, 
Jason, what were some of your main reasons for recommending RA? Um, man, I'll be honest, I'm going to pull up the zoning map. Um, my biggest concern is the if you open up uh, R1 to this triangle portion along Old Alvasta and Shiloh and Mormon, mm -hmm. I felt like it would encourage R1 to be located further to the west. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was my main concern is how far out do you allow R1 to go? Um, and to the applicant's credit, I mean, we've had this discussion. You know, you need to know that we've been talking. And, uh, you know, there's a large wetland body that separates this property from the rest of the property to the west. Mm -hmm. um, and this property is fairly close into some existing residential development. So I tried to go with RA to buffer it, um, but he wanted to go with R1 so he could subdivide it. He thought he was a little closer to town. So that's just some points with this case that are worth considering. But my concern was that R1 would open up this triangle to R1, and I just wasn't ready to see that density here yet. Further west. That was my main concern. Mm -hmm. I have one question. If, if it's not perfect, this piece of land, we have one R1 sitting up in here in the corner. Yes. What, what is that? Do you have any idea? Sir, we, if you, um, there's actually a piece of R1 further to the west, and then there's this piece. I was able to track down. Um, this piece was done sometime between 1982 and 1993. So I did not find an actual case for it, but I, I found a range. So before 1993, there was a case further west, um, right here just outside the screen, that was done in 1996, um, where staff at that time recommended for it, planning commission recommended for it, and the county commission approved it. Um, I, I didn't see any type of family references, there might have been a family ties, but ultimately they approved some R1 zoning a little bit further west of here. Mm -hmm. But it does seem fairly isolated, but it's there. Um, I don't have an individual case on the one that's on the screen. I just have a date range. I don't have a case. And that's the one where the one question I felt like we were not able to find a, a definite answer on was that, that case that's on the screen in the R1. We found some a little bit west just off the map, but that one we we have not found the case yet. Well, looking at it, it's like you said, it's a lot of wetland. Then that going to restrict what you're going to be able to do with this land to begin with? Uh, in that, I mean, that's a horrendous amount of wetland right now. If you, and the answer is yes. If you look at that um, aerial map that shows you how the wetlands kind of wrap around um, yeah. to the southwest, uh, that that will. I mean, you can see there's some, there are some drier portions on this property, but as you go further south, that wetland and those wet areas are going to restrict how many residences you can put there. Mm -hmm. And this is just a guess of where the wetland is. That's right. That's right. The wetland boundary. That's right. You'd have to hire a um, wetland delineator to find those specific boundaries, but this at least gives us an idea yeah. that there's something worth checking there. Okay. Thank you. There being no other questions, um, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being not enough of a participation portion of this request, um, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will now entertain a motion from the commissioners. Chairman. I'll make a motion to um, follow the staff's recommendation of option one for RA rezoning um, the property on Morvan Road and Shallow Road. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the, uh, on the item. Is there any discussion on the motion? There being none, um, all those in favor of the motion, please um, raise your right hand. All those opposed? The motion passes four to one.